Uh, scroll down to the description below this vlog, and I've created two events in Demore Global Running and the Demore Global Running Group. Okay, so I'm feeling real good. It's getting real. Uh, but I, I, I have to pack as a daily vlogger. I need to pack in two ways, my running gear and the camera gear. So this is the running gear. I'm laying it out, making sure I have all the essentials uh, in the plane with me, just above my head in the, in the overhead bin. And then uh, what is not quite as essential can go under the plane in my check-on. But now, camera gear, uh, Kipchoge's first, and then I'm second in uh, in Amsterdam. So I don't want to. I want to make sure I don't forget any chargers. And just oh, tip of the day: don't forget your watch charger. Um, I'm just gonna double check that it's in my backpack because you know it's fun to be able to time yourself, get the stats, but more importantly, share your story of running on Strava or whatever app you use with your crew, your family members, your friends. That might be the first way that they figure out how you did in your race. So that's why I like to use Strava. It's just fun. All right, let's get the camera gear. Now for the non-essentials in this suitcase. Okay, feeling real good about the situation. I will add a few more items tomorrow to the suitcase and uh, not the question of the day, but is it even allowed to bring four pairs of shoes to a marathon? I think it is, I think it is. Two racing shoes, the next percent, the Vaporfly 4% Fly Knits, an Easy Day shoe. Now I am gonna be over there for 10 days, so that's why. Easy Day shoe, the Beacons, you better believe it. And then a little more of an up-tempo shoe uh, because I don't want my legs to fall asleep while I'm over there. I'm gonna do some, um, yeah, just tempo runs, you know, strides of course. And so the Zoom Fly 3s from Nike will be the fourth pair of shoes. Uh, so anyway, I know it's a little it's a little much, but I just don't want to I don't want to um, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity to do what I think I can do, if you know what I mean. All right, let's get uh, and then yeah, I'll add a few more items here tomorrow. Okay, feeling good, everybody. All right, here we go, everyone. Feeling real good about the packing. Back in the studio, I've got I've got updates for you. So I'm gonna look at my phone because I don't want to mess anything up. All the details. First of all, uh, from yesterday's question of the day, just gonna raise this up a little bit. From yesterday's question of the day, thank you for everyone that's chiming in about what to pack for a marathon. I can't hold my phone when I talk. Uh, what to pack for a marathon? Shout out to Adam and Janet. First of all, Adam is on the ground in Amsterdam giving me updates on the weather. Thank you, Adam. And it sounds like it's been very rainy the past three weeks in Amsterdam, which definitely influences what I'm packing as far as warm weather gear, uh, rain gear, and yes, the Nike Next Percent. So thank you, Adam. Shout out to you. And then to Janet, who sent me this incredible message. Both of these were messages on Facebook. Janet sent me a message, uh, basically, and this dovetails to what Adam is saying. She said, don't forget to bring a rain slicker or a poncho, so I'm on the hunt for one right now, uh, to the starting line in case it is raining and then I can just toss it to the side. So great 
work, Jana. And she also had one other recommendation. Let me find it here. Da, 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 throwaway jacket. Uh, da, 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 hold on. Oh, she also had the idea of make sure I actually bring, especially if it's raining or the potential to rain, my green hat to help keep the rain out of my eyes. It, it, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, so great job, Janet. Thank you so much. All right. Now for the details for the meetups, the group runs in Vienna and Amsterdam. So I said this about two months ago on the vlog for Amsterdam. The meetup in Amsterdam. Are you ready? Are you gonna be in Amsterdam at the marathon? Here are the details for the group run in Amsterdam. And uh, all right, I had to just pick a date and pick a time and pick a location. I just had to do it, all right? So I, I, this, is, this is what I came up with. Friday, October 18th, so two days before the marathon, all right? So then Saturday, I'm just gonna chill out and rest. Um, so Friday, October 18th at 10 a.m. local time. So whatever, it's, you know, in Amsterdam, local time. Friday, October 18th at 10 a.m. local time in Vondel Park. However you spell it. Actually, I'll put it on the screen in a, in a title. Vondel Park, all right? But the park looks pretty good size. So where in the park? Are you ready for this? We're going to meet at the statue of Joost van den Vondel. Van den Vondel. Uh, so I'm not saying that right, but that's okay. Here's a picture of the statue. So we're gonna meet at this statue at 10 a.m. on Friday, October 18th. All right, there you have it. It'll be on Friday, the two days before the race in Amsterdam in that park. Now, if you're on Strava, uh, scroll down to the description below this vlog, and I've created two events in Demore Global Running and the Demore Global Running Group for the Amsterdam Group Run. Now on to Vienna, okay. According to weather reports on my end, it's looking like uh, it's looking like Kipchoge is going to do it on Saturday. Like the weather is looking very good. Saturday, October twelfth, whichever day Kipchoge makes the sub two hour attempt, we are going to do a group run the following day at ten a.m. So if it's Saturday, then we will do the group run Sunday at ten a.m. If it gets if Kipchoge's sub two hour attempt gets pushed to Sunday because of inclement weather, bad weather on Saturday, then we will do the group run on uh, Monday at 10 a.m. That's just how, how I have to do it. We have to remain flexible until we have an official start time, official start date. I will keep everyone updated on Strava in the Demore Global Running event. Uh, again, it's down below in the description. Just click on that link and we will meet. So it'll be 10 a.m. and we will meet at the finish line of Kipchoge's sub two hour attempt. Again, in the Strava event, I tried, so it's in that park, that long straightaway park that looks amazing for running. And by the way, I will do eight miles pretty easy on Sunday. Um, and if you if you only want to do four miles with us, perfect. If you want to do if you're if you're in for a Sunday long run, and you want to do 15 to 20 or whatever you want to do, that's great. Uh, but we will meet at 10 a.m in that park and again i tried to find uh the address for the uh, that exact point in the park it's all listed in the strava group run uh down below and i think i found the, the correct address for that um but it's all subject to change depending on the actual attempt by kipchoge okay uh, so it'll just be the next day at 10 a.m at the finish line the ineos 159 challenge finish line we'll meet right there i'll have of course i'll have my gr my green hat on and uh, hopefully it's not like hopefully it is sunday that we meet it might be monday hopefully it's not tuesday and i and wednesday i really hope it's not because i'm i'm planning to fly uh, to Amsterdam on Wednesday. And then, of course, the group run in Amsterdam will be 10 a.m. no matter what uh, in Vondel Park at that statue we will meet. And I will only do four miles on Friday in Vondel Park because it's only two days until the Amsterdam Marathon. Does that sound good, everyone? Oh, it's, I can't wait to meet all of you. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we can take pictures and just have a good time. Of course, I will have my camera with me and uh, it's going to be epic. So question of the day, are you going to Vienna to watch or are you going to Amsterdam to cheer or are you going to Amsterdam to race? Or if you're not going to Vienna or Amsterdam because you live somewhere else in the world, which is, I would say, probably most of you, um, how are you planning to watch 
the Ineos 159 Challenge and or the Amsterdam Marathon. A couple people were asking on Twitter today, uh, was it Twitter? I forget. It was somewhere. They were asking how, no, Strava, how to watch the Amsterdam Marathon. And frankly, I didn't know, but it sounds like they're going to live stream it on the, I believe, okay, I'll just put the, uh, I'll put the website right there. That is the tcsamsterdammarathon.com, I believe is it. So I'll put it right there in a title. Love you all. Okay, well, I, vlog's not quite done. We're going out of the studio, going on date night with True Love. Get an update on that baby boy. And yes, try and hunt down this poncho. Okay, here we go. Here we go, True Love. Here we go, date night. Hun, come look in the back here. Remember our mission? Hold on. Let me unlock here. Here, poncho, right? Uh -huh -huh. Open that up here. I know, that's falling off. Boom! What? Grab that orange right there. Orange, 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 orange. Oh, there it is. Yes, yes, Perfect. So much more Aren't we set? We're ready. We are ready. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. It even has a tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh. all right, let's go get an update okay. in the car. I know. Isn't it beautiful? It's crazy. We're so. It's a crazy, crazy oh. world. We're just make it, making it happen. We just gotta make it happen. Be decisive. We had a big day. Had true, a big love, true love had a big day. day. It's been crazy. Remember the, remember the situation yesterday. We won't even go into it. Hon, how are you doing? How's uh, baby boy? Now we can oh, tell. Oh, he's so sweet. Now Why? we can he's tell the vlog. And moving, and he's perfect, and I love him. Oh, you can feel some kicks. I can feel some kicks. A little more so. A little more often. More just as I'm, about, as I'm like laying down for bed. Yeah. And I love it. And we decided to wrap it up in the parking lot. Was uh, struggling with the sun, but we got it. All right, true love. Yeah. Uh, group runs. I don't know if you know this, no, but what's that? group runs in Amsterdam okay. and Vienna. Oh yes. So everyone that's coming to watch Kipchoge oh and or race Amsterdam, we're gonna do group runs. And again, the links to the events are down that's below on Strava. That is so cool. Is that amazing? We should invite Kipchoge. Hey, Kipchoge. Kipchoge. Does anybody out there know Kipchoge? What do you think? After Amsterdam. Come on. We'll cool down. Or after Vienna. After we'll, Vienna, go to Amsterdam. Go to Am Or, so what we're doing is the group run in Vienna, we're doing it the day after oh. uh, Kipchoge's <laughs> attempt. So yeah, nice cool down, right? Uh, that's so, so cool, babe. It's gonna be good. It's gonna oh. be good. So we love you all. Thank you for everything. Thanks for being here. And we're off to uh, a delicious dinner. So, Amen. Amen. All right, shout uh, throwback to uh, yesterday's vlog on the right, which is all about marathon packing, what to pack for your first marathon, in my case, the road marathon. And then on the left, we're going to toss it back to London, where uh, Kipchoge threw down. So, all right, everyone, seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.